Today I'm going to show you how to uncover a little diamond in the rough. Vince from Pennsylvania, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. That is my man Tommy cutting up the footage for you. Today's show, I am really excited about what we found for my guy Vince. Just a little background on Vince. Vince is a Pennsylvania state trooper. He's living in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, you have already bought some rental properties. This is not your first foray, foray into real estate investing. So you kind of know what you're doing, and you know what you like, you know what you don't like. And what you don't like is high risk. You're looking for low-risk stuff. You have a budget of $250,000, okay? You want to use traditional financing, and you like low risk, so you're interested in sticking to B-class areas, and you're also interested in exploring the Section 8 program if that will help increase the profit. And the first deal that I found for you, Vince, uh, I think it's going to just crush all of your goals, and I'm, like, super excited because these are literally my absolute favorite like just this is the best thing I, I love when you guys get these analysis and i find these nice hidden gems the property 4626 east 86 garfield heights 44125 this is listed for fifty three thousand nine hundred dollars it is a bungalow nice b class low risk neighborhood let's take a look at these photos all right it's already tenant occupied, so you're going to see all the tenant stuff. And the cool thing is it don't look like this tenant is moving out anytime soon. We got stuff all over the walls. Like this right here, I know some people get freaked out when they start to see all kinds of crap on the walls and just like super cluttered. Everyone's like, oh, man, this doesn't look good. This doesn't show good. Yeah, it doesn't show good. It doesn't look good in photos, but that is actually going to be in our favor, right? Because that's keeping the other buyers away because they don't like that. And what that really tells me, what that tells the trained investor is, you know, the more crap they got, the less – you know, the less they're thinking about moving out, man, these people are bunkered down up in this house. So I don't think we got to worry about folks bolting anytime soon. The more stuff they got shows to me they've been there a while. They're planning on being there for a while. They even got stuff in the unfinished basement, right? You don't really see folks, you know, doing a lot of stuff down in these unfinished basements here in the Cleveland market, but these folks are. So, you know, these folks don't appear to be going anywhere based on the evidence we have. And another cool thing, you know, you could really barely see it with all the junk everywhere, but this man right here, this is beautiful. This is money right here, baby. Look at that furnace. That is one new-looking furnace. I don't know exactly know how old it is, but based on that photo, I'd guess that bad boy is probably five years old or less, which is great because we know they last approximately 30 years. And for everybody that uh, doesn't know or the folks out there who have been watching a lot of Holton Wise TV, you all know how much it costs to replace a furnace. Approximately three grand. That's a little tip for all you new viewers out there. Hot water tank, they last about 15 years. They cost you about a G to replace. This one, it doesn't look like old or broken or anything, but it doesn't look super shiny and new like that. So I would guess we're probably halfway through its lifespan. And then right here, nice, beautiful, updated electric panels. So some of the bigger ticket items taken care of for us. Now, this is why I'm so excited about this property. This is why this is such a like diamond in the rough. This is just a hidden gem that most people are not going to notice, right? Because the price, okay? The price is stupid. The price is stupid cheap, $53,900. Now, what we should be renting this property for, 
thousand bucks a month three bed one bath thousand bucks a month no questions asked very easy to get that amount honestly if we go with the section 8 program we could probably get it even higher you know if you look and the property management fact the section 8 fact on holtonwise.com we have that chart there and it shows you what cmha's payment standards are and hud's fair market value it goes up to like 1176 uh, but i just wanted to just do a, a very simple easy market rent for you a thousand bucks because we can get that to cash we can get that from cash paying tenants we could also get that or higher from section eight now this is the thing this is why it's so cheap right because that's that's with what we have nice property like this nice new mechanicals the price is just too low people should just be salivating it should already be off the market right this should really honestly be being sold for like seventy thousand dollars that's why this is a diamond on the rough that's why i salivate when i get these and you guys do these analysis and i get these you see the majority of agents like 99 and a half percent of them they're residential agents they you know they're used to just selling people homes they're going to live in in these folks the the keller williams uh brokerage that listed this property you can tell just based on the listing that these people do not delve into the rental business very often there is no mention of what the rent actually is as a matter of fact this is the remarks great opportunity waits the next owner of this classic garfield heights cape cod home the first floor offers two bedrooms, a full bath, spacious living room, dining area, and kitchen with tiled floor. The upstairs has been remodeled nicely into a large third bedroom. This home has a full basement with up-to-date mechanicals, glass block windows, and lots of space. The exterior is low maintenance with a nice backyard area and two-car detached garage. Call today and make this one yours. And they don't even make a mention that it's tenant-occupied in the public remarks. As a broker, I have access to other remarks that other agents write. And that's where they mention that it is tenant occupied. Still, not even a, a mention of what the rent is. So what that tells me, right? These particular agents, you know, what happens? We got five thousand realtors out in the Cleveland market, and you know, ninety-nine and a half percent of them, ninety-nine point nine percent of them, they sell homes to people looking to live in their homes. That's not what I do. That's not what we do at Holton Wise. That's why you're here. That's why you're paying for the analysis. You're an investor. This ain't a place for you to live. This is an investment vehicle, right? That's how we look at it. That's why you're getting my services. And we are going to take advantage of the fact that these folks don't understand that or they're not familiar with that and they're trying to sell this like a home. See, we saw all the pictures with the tenants crap in there, right? It don't look good. It looks like shit. That's keeping the price down. As far as selling it to other real estate investors, well, these folks are obviously not well versed in that because based upon that description, you know, they're not talking the talk. They're not speaking the language of an investor. On top of that, as an investor, what do you want to know more than anything? You want to know how much money you're going to make. Well, they don't even tell you. There's no mention of how much you know, money that this property brings in. So the home does not look good to owner occupants because owner occupants, A, they're turned off by all the crap that the tenants got in there. B, they can't necessarily move in right away because the tenant is still living there. And as far as investors go, these folks are missing the mark dealing with investors because they are not marketing this how you need to market it to an investor. So what all of that does is that just drives that price way down. And that's why we have the opportunity to pick this up at 53900 Because you don't give a shit that they are not telling you what the, the rents are because it doesn't matter because I'm telling you what they are. And the market rent on this, without question, we could hit 1000 all day. If we go Section 8, we could probably get it up to 1176 depending on how favorable the housing, uh, you know, the rental offer is given to us by the, the housing authority. More on how that process works in our Section 8 FAC on HoltonWise.com. I'll also link to that in the show notes below. You guys got to check that out. Um, Section 8, that's why most property managers don't deal with Section 8. It's not that the tenants are worse than like regular tenants. It's the fact that dealing with the housing authority and the program itself, it's just a bureaucratic mess. You ask one question of five employees, you're getting five answers. So most property managers, they don't want to deal with that stuff. We deal with that all day, every day at Holton Wise. We will do that for you, for your properties. And everything we do, how we handle Section 8, how much we charge for the Section 8 program, all of that, how we go about getting a rental offer because it's incredibly confusing and it's different every time. All of that is listed in that Section 8 fact. So that's in the show notes. So with all that, 
We know we can get that really high. 1,000, that's on the low end. That's super conservative. And we don't even know what these folks are currently bringing in. I, you know, I don't know what they're bringing in because the agent didn't tell us. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? The property is so cheap. You have the ability to pick this up at 53900 We could probably even offer a little bit less because I don't see a lot of people bidding on this just based on the fact that it's it's not presented well to owner-occupants and it's not presented well to uh, investors. So it's been on the market 62 days as I make you this video. Still active even though it's priced Fifteen, almost twenty thousand dollars cheaper than it should be. So you know we could even come in super aggressive. You know we could go ahead and maybe offer like forty-eight thousand, forty-nine thousand, forty-seven thousand, somewhere in there. Start the bidding there. See where it goes. As far as the numbers go, what would it look like when we rented it for a thousand? Okay, you're bringing in twelve thousand a year. Go ahead and run your numbers based on that. You know I'm estimating a estimating a total operating expense average of 601 a month you know that's the normal stuff right 50 bones a month for repairs maintenance vacancy non-payment capex our capex even though i'm estimating the regular amount we're in good situation here with our capex because that furnace looked pretty darn new we're probably only halfway through the life expectancy of that hot water tank electric panel already updated things are looking good you know taxes 196 insurance 80 bucks if you need a quote for insurance or any other investor out there, you think you're paying too much for your rental insurance, in the show notes below, I got a link down there for our insurance company. We will give you a quote. We will. We should be able to beat your current quote. That's all we do. We find investors the lowest possible insurance rates. We are an insurance company for investors by investors. Water sewer estimate, toughest thing to estimate. Uh, could go up, could go down. It's all based on the tenants, but, you know, an average of 75 a month. As far as lawn care, you don't need to worry about spending that because the tenants take care of it. We got a single family home. They could put their own lawnmower in the garage. And then the PM fees, that's 100. So all that brings you at an average you could reasonably expect to spend on average 601 a month operating this. Leaves you with an NOI of 399 a month or almost five grand a year. Now, you want to finance this, of course, that makes sense. So your mortgage. It's going to be teeny, man. A little $40,000 mortgage here. You're going to put down $13,475. That's going to give you a little $204 a month mortgage. After you take that away from your NOI, you should be clearing almost $200 a month in free cash flow. I'm averaging. I'm estimating you're going to average $195 a month. That doesn't mean you're going to make $195 every single month, right? There's going to be swings. Or like when you finally do do a turnover, like, if say this current tenant, right, they're paying eight fifty a month, it'll still probably do okay for you at eight fifty a month. Not a lot, but you'd still be making forty five bucks a month and you don't have to touch it till that lease comes up and then you could try to increase the rent. If you get some money, maybe you go up fifty, seventy five bucks, great, you don't have to worry about spending anything. But say you try to increase it too high and those folks move out. Well then we gotta do a turn, right? And we're probably doing at least a five thousand dollar turn on this property, you know. It looks pretty dated. It looks like these folks, like I said, they've been hunkered down in there for a long time. So if we increase that rent too much and these current folks move out, you know, you got to pencil in at least $5,000 for us to turn the space. So, you know, you're going to have a dip in your performance, right? Everybody, you know, thinks that, oh, you know, I'm supposed to make a net cash flow after mortgage of 195 a month. That does, you're probably going to make like a lot more, but then boom, you get hit with like a big five or $6,000 cost and it throws your numbers off for a while. So just remember, these are numbers that the property should do over the long haul, you know, based upon an average of similar properties like this performance over the long haul. So just remember that. But everything goes according to plan over the long haul. I anticipate you bringing in 195 a month or 2340 a year on average which would be a 17.37% cash on cash return. Now, that is not factoring in uh, you know, a big turnover cost to get us up to that $1000, but you know, factor that in your head when we're negotiating this, that's probably going to come up. If these folks are paying way below market rent, you know, the more you need to increase their rent to get them to that thousand, the higher the chance that they're going to move out. I never like to just come in and boot tenants out, right? It's not that I'm like a, you know, a bleeding heart or anything and I feel bad. You know, no, I'm all about the bottom line. But what it is, is I, I don't like investors that have the idea that they need to hurry up 
to stop an income source coming in so they could just spend a bunch of money. I mean, don't get me wrong. We own the construction company, so, like, I have no problem spending your funds to uh, renovate this home, but you shouldn't be in a hurry to remove your income source and then just pay me a bunch of money to fix it up, right? So I like to go slow. So if they're at, like, 850 you know, when that lease expires, you know, they probably got a few months left on their lease. Who knows? Maybe it's month to month. Maybe there's a few more months. Who knows? You know, go slow. Like, hey, let's up at 50 bucks, and because you're still making money at that point. Then the next year, hey, let's up another 25 something like that. Don't try to create an artificial turnover. Don't try to get in there and spend all that money on a renovation when you already have a tenant who's paying money and who don't look like they want to move out anytime soon. That's my advice on that. Another thing that this cash-on-cash cash return average that I've given you doesn't include is a discount on the listing price, right? I did those numbers based upon you buying it at $53,900, which in itself is a great deal. If you have to pay $53,900, you're still getting it for well below market value based upon the reasons I explained earlier. But I think, you know, with us in your corner, us understanding this asset, in my opinion, a lot more than the other side, a lot more than the listing agents, I want to start you in the high 40s and see what we can do. One other thing that I haven't even mentioned um, that also leads me to believe that the other side doesn't really understand this type of asset is there is no mention of the point of sale report. Now, the seller, the person who hired these agents, this guy lives in a city called Hudson. That is an A-grade fancy schwanky suburb in the cleveland market right i assume this is what you see when you get these folks you know you get wealthy folks that live in nice homes and maybe they inherit a home or they randomly bought one or two rentals and they decide they're not interested in the rental business and when they want to sell the asset they typically hire the realtors that they work with to buy their own personal homes which is what I'm guesstimating is happening here, right? You take a nice area like Hudson, we're talking four, five, six hundred thousand dollar homes. There ain't no such thing as a point of sale in cities like that. You know, they're really only prominent in the cheaper areas, the BC class areas, uh, the suburbs around Cleveland where you see a lot of rental properties, right? So I would anticipate the seller probably doesn't isn't aware that there is a POS he needs to order. And I would anticipate uh, his listing agents don't really even know how the POS process works because they're used to selling expensive owner-occupied homes and they don't really deal with point of sale very often. But very prominent in the rental space, so I'm super familiar with it. Now, they haven't said a word about it. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and just have us put in the offer seller to you know provide us with a clear point of sale prior to close. And uh, the home looks to be in pretty good shape. There may be some concrete violations, but let's see what happens. Let's see if they accept it. Then they go in and they order that point of sale. At that point, they got some more skin in the game too because when they order that point of sale, if for whatever reason they decide they don't want to fix it and the deal falls apart, they don't get to just walk away from the point of sale. Those are now active violations issued by the city's building department. So whether or not they sell the home, they will be required to clear off all those violations or they will be fined. And it can be, you know, it, it can go as far as to being a minor misdemeanor building code violation, which is a criminal offense. Um, if you don't clear off building code violations in the in the Cleveland area, well, in any area really, that's nationwide. Um, so by us putting that in there, you know, I think we're just going into this negotiation with all the cards stacked in our favor. We want to put that in there, see what it see what it comes out at, because there's no point to. Uh, like trying to negotiate you assuming it because I don't want you to assume it because you have no idea what it's going to be. So let's just assume that they'll accept that. And then if it does come back where it turns out that the amount of repairs they need to do are more than they could handle because, again, maybe they're probably not professional landlords, probably don't have access to contractors, we'll be able to use that again to leverage a bigger discount because you're hiring Holton Wise. You have a ton of money left over, right? Your budget's two hundred fifty thousand. We're not even scratching the surface for the amount of money you got available to do this deal, right? You only got to put up thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars, right? So if it comes back that the point of sale is going to be like ten thousand dollars worth of repairs, and these folks actually can't cover that, you know, we'll say, hey, we'll go ahead and assume it, but and, you know, it's ten thousand dollars approximately. You give us a fourteen thousand dollar discount. We might be able to work that in there too. So. When I saw this, when I searched in the MLS and I saw this deal for you, Vince, I'm like, damn, this is another one. I just, I get so happy because the property's just sitting out there on the market, but people are just brushing over it 
because it's just not presented in the proper way. And that, my friends, that, my folks, is why you guys are paying me the money. That's why you guys are hiring Holton Wise to do these search and analysis for you because we are out there combing through all the mess and finding the real value because that's what we have to do. You want to make a lot of money in real estate, you have to find value where it's not apparent. If there's just some turnkey property just chilling on the market, Everybody else knows it's turnkey. If it's all wrapped in a bow, nice and neat, beautifully presented to you, everybody's going to want it. Everybody loves money. It's when we could take deals like this that aren't obvious money makers, turn them into money makers. That's how you guys make money. Uh, so with all that said, I'm going to go to a word from the sponsor of today's show, then we get into the second property. <laughs> Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Hey, Vince, welcome back. Now, the second property I found for you, um, similar price point, uh, but it's a little bit more put together. And up front, they're letting us know that we are going to need to spend a little bit more money. But that's fine. Like I said, you know, with what we're getting, right? You know, if I was selling both of these properties, I'd probably be selling both of these for $75,000. Now, this one, it's listed by another company that's actually familiar with property management. It's called IIP Management. So this is a rental. It's being professionally managed. So things are going to be a little bit different. 10301 Homeworth Ave, Garfield Heights, 44125. The list price is $54,000, and we have currently one tenant in there. We got three beds, one bath, and that tenant is paying $1,020 a month. So you'll be bringing in $12,240 a year, and you don't really have to do anything because the tenant's already in there. Now, the question is, if the other property was such a good deal, uh, why is this one also priced so low? These, these folks, they know what they're doing. Here is the deal here. They have already um, scheduled the Garfield Heights point of sale, and they have clarified to us that the buyer is going to need to assume it. So the seller is not going to touch this. So there's going to be a point of sale that you're going to have to buy. So as far as offering price, I don't think you could try to come in um, very much lower than the list price. I think these folks know what they've got. And as far as the point of sale, there's going to be no negotiations on that. You're going to have to spend the money. So if you could pick this up at 54000 and then we need to spend anything around the $10,000 range on that point of sale to clear it off, you're still doing pretty damn good. Now, they have not actually gotten the point of sale back yet. So what we want to do, we want to go ahead and put in an offer, and we want to put a contingency on there like, all right, We'll give you 54000 We will assume the point of sale so long as the point of sale violations come in estimated at $5,000 or less. That gives us some, some leeway, some leverage to negotiate things out. And then when the point of sale comes in, if it comes in a little bit higher, you know, we might be able to work that down. But either way, I still think you could spend about 10000 on the POS and pick it up for about 54000 and it's still going to be a pretty good deal because if you take – um, the numbers here, right? 1,020 a month coming in. And then, you know, same, same, it's, it's like the same kind of property as what we had before. So the estimates are all very, very close. So you should be spending approximately 588 a month. There's just a little variance from the previous property because the taxes are slightly different. That should give you an NOI of 432 or 5184 for the year. Now, numbers wise, right? 
You're not gonna be able to finance that POS. So if you come in here, buy it for fifty-four thousand. Your NOI it's four thirty-two. You're only putting up another thirteen thousand five hundred. You got a teeny mortgage forty-eight thousand five hundred. Your mortgage payment, small man, two hundred five. I think the other one was like two hundred four. So that's twenty-four sixty a month. You're paying to your debt service. This should bring you a net cash flow after you pay off that mortgage at two twenty-seven. That would be a twenty point two percent cash on cash return. Now, obviously. Whatever you have to assume on that POS is going to make your numbers get skewed a little bit. You know, your return would go down. But we don't 100% know. As far as, like, the condition of the property, it's kind of hard uh, to tell because they were unable to get us uh, anything other than the two exterior photos. You get a lot of, you know, it's there's a tenant in there, right? It's tough, right? It's tough to as an agent to get in there and, and deal with the tenants. You know, that's why when folks are buying properties from us off of the Investment Properties for Sale show, we don't do public showings or any of that jazz. We get in there. We make our film team go in there one time. We do make the tenants allow us to get in there that one time for our film team. But then we don't let anybody else come back into that property. You know, if you're an interested buyer and you want to buy one of our properties, we will show you the video. We will be as transparent as possible. And then you have to make an offer contingent on inspection at that point. You don't get to go look at it and then decide you want to make an offer. No, no, no. We're going to be transparent, but we're not going to dick around with tire kickers and bothering the tenants. Right? That stuff's just too hard. So you see our video, you see what's going on, and then we know you're committed enough to actually buying the property because you're going to spend three, four hundred bucks on an inspection. Boom, we'll move forward. You know, we're doing our due diligence on our side for our sellers and for our tenants to make sure people aren't wasting our time by making sure they're pot committed, putting up a few hundred bucks, knowing that they're not just tire kickers. And as far as you guys go as the buyers, we're providing you guys transparency with all of your own due diligence because we still want you to get that inspection, but we're not going to just let you just run amok of the rental portfolio, right? Because very, very difficult. So with this company, they're a management company. They don't have like the media arm that we have, but you know, they're property managers dealing with the same stuff, right? Tenants, they're, you know, they don't like you coming in their house taking pictures. So that's why we only have a couple uh, pictures here. But that's fine because we're going to make this contingent on inspection. You're going to have your inspector go in there, check everything out. And, dude, 54000 for a Garfield Heights property, that is really cheap. Bringing in 1020 bucks a month in rent. And we're going to have to assume that POS, but I'm going to make sure we cover your butt here, Vince. And we're going to say up to $5,000 on our initial offer. See how things go. So we're not going to have you fully commit to releasing all your contingencies until we actually get the actual real numbers and the actual real violations back from Garfield Heights. So you're not going to be you know, hit with some costs prior or post-closing, right? You're going to know everything going into this. Um, but what we want to do, we want to lock this thing up because this is pretty nice. So personally... If I were going to buy just one of these, I would buy the first one. Um, but that does not mean I don't think you should buy this one as well. I honestly think with your budget, you should just come into this market and let's pick both of these up, man. These are two undervalued properties, and I think they're both going to be great for your rental portfolio. They're both going to be super low risk, man. They're single families. I picked the single families for you because you said you, you know, you're risk adverse and you already own properties. You know what you like, you know what you don't like. So I didn't want to try to push you into something that's more risky because you get multifamily tenants are going to turn over more often. It's going to be more, you know, repair costs, more turnover costs, you know, more, more tenants. That's, you know, a higher chance that you're going to get a really bad tenant in there. You get these single families, man, the folks, they tend to stay longer. They're a lot more low key. So I thought it'd be a lot, you know, lower risk for you. And then I found a little bit of hidden value with the first one. And then with the second one, it's just nice because you get a lot of investors um, that just want everything to be turnkey. They don't want to pay for all the POS repairs. So that makes it harder to sell, which is kind of pushing the price down from these sellers. But whatever whatever it is, maybe the current seller, maybe he's distressed. Maybe he doesn't have any money to do repairs. So we could come and take advantage. And that's why both properties are priced so well. That's why I found them. And that's why you hire me to do this kind of stuff. So Vince, if you want to make an offer on one or both of these properties and you want me, my personal team of assistants to actually handle the entire negotiations for you, just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and uh, we will start the negotiation process with these listing agents. We will recommend home inspectors for you because, you know, 
the analysis is great, but we still need you to do your due diligence, get your own home inspector in there. All the information I've just given you is what I can see from my desktop, right? So we'll get in there and, uh, you know, we'll really try to beat these folks up as much as we can and get you the best possible deal. For everybody else, if you are interested in getting a personalized analysis like this, like my guy Vince did. You see, here's the thing, just so everyone else who's watching this. I sent this video to Vince probably 60 to 90 days you, ago. You cannot buy these properties. These properties, as you're watching this on Holton Wise TV, these are gone. I, when you guys order these, I send these out to you in a private link so only you can see it. And then we go back and forth and we negotiate. We put the properties under contract. Only when the sale closes, whether you decided to move forward and buy it yourself or because they are on the open market, maybe you know the realtors found their own buyers or somebody else came in. Only when the sale is closed and the properties are no longer available do I publicly release the footage on Holton Wise TV. So bear that in mind. Uh, but if you'd like to get your own episode and you want me to find your own stuff, you just go to holtonwise.com click the tv tab click the mls search analysis show and you can just scroll down here you'll see all the products and services that we have available and you can also click this tab right here and you can see the previous episodes that we've done for other investors you know this one right here is pretty cool we had a guy he actually ordered this i did that video probably two weeks after my son was born and i thought it was cool because that particular guy wanted to invest in real estate because he was having a family, he was starting a family, and he wanted his wife to be able to stay at home with their new family. So that kind of touched me. You know, I thought that was pretty sweet because I had just had my first child, and my wife was able to retire from her job as a nurse and stay home, all because of real estate, guys, all because the rental real estate business is very lucrative, but it is risky, and that's why you need to do the due diligence. You need to spend a few hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, getting yourself all the data so you can ensure you're buying yourself a safe deal. The worst thing you could do is not do your due diligence. Just spend your money thinking that if you don't buy that property right then and there, you're never going to have another opportunity. And next thing you know, you bought yourself something crummy or you didn't understand the risks involved and you're losing your ass, right? You know, spending 500 bucks in an effort to make sure you don't lose $50,000 is a hell of a return on an investment. I don't think you can get a return. You can't, your rentals ain't even going to give you a better return than that $500 would. So if you guys want to get one for yourself, just like Vince did here today, and you want me to take into account your personal situation, your finances, go over your goals and find you something, or maybe you found something on your own and you just want my take on it, Again, holdenwise.com, click the TV tab. It's the MLS Search and Analysis Show. If you're not interested in paying for any personalized education, though, what you should do is check out our other show on Holton Wise TV called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. That's why I was telling you guys about a little bit earlier. We are the number one sellers of rental properties here in the Cleveland market. So when we sell you guys rental properties, we break down all of the things investors are going to want to know. You're not going to, you know, have me trying to sell it to you like it's a home that you're going to live in. I understand you guys are just trying to make money. So when we present our properties on the Investment Properties for Sale show, all of the information I've given you guys here today, it's going to have a similar amount of information as well as that video tour I spoke about so you can make an uh, informed buying decision no matter where you live, right? You guys might be in Cleveland, but a lot of you I know are on the West Coast. You know, my expensive market folks. I get a lot of folks from L.A. and just all up and down California. We get a lot of folks from Oregon. Even folks in uh, New York, Texas, and uh, Colorado are investing out here in the Midwest because our prices are just cheaper than anywhere else in the nation. So let me know. That's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied.
Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.